I'm Sam Thompson. I'm a rising senior. I play corner here at Carnegie Mellon. I'll be a captain next season. I'm from Alcoa, Tennessee. I'm studying mechanical engineering. I chose Carnegie Mellon because of the football team. The attitude of the players and coaches when I visited here was phenomenal. And I also realized that if football didn't work out for me, this is an institution that I would be happy at anyway. Thing I like most about Carnegie Mellon would be the people. Obviously, my teammates and I have some close relationships. Also, students in my major, uh, faculty here are great. I feel very relaxed and at ease here. Uh, I've left things in lecture like an iPod, an iPod Touch, and people will pick them up and turn them into a teacher. And it's it's very it's a very nice thing to do, very comforting, and not it doesn't happen everywhere. Additionally, uh, we're one of the few Division III schools with a strength and conditioning coach, which is an extremely important part of our team, and that's it's a big factor. My most memorable I think, moment, uh, I've got a few to choose from. But I think if I had to pick one, I'd go with my freshman season, uh, game seven, we were playing Wittenberg. It was my first game starting at corner. And we were playing a team that had a very good receiver. It was about 6'4". He was the upper class in sophomore, junior, I don't remember. And basically I had to line up against him the whole game. And me being 5'10", him being 6'4". A little bit of height difference, but uh, early in the second quarter, they were driving down and decided to go for it on fourth and seven. And threw a curl route to my side, and I was able to break back and bat that pass away and basically give the ball to our offense. And it was, I guess it was my first really influential play at Carnegie Mellon and really changed the tone of that drive in that quarter, but also gave me confidence that I could play with these guys. This summer, I'm going to officer at school for the Marines. It's six weeks of an evaluation screening process to determine if I'm worthy of commissioning to the Marines when I graduate. So it will be very intense uh, summer training. And once I get done with that, I'll have about four weeks before I come back up here. So I'll be at home doing our football workout, getting ready for the season. After graduation, I'll transition into the Marines, and I'll spend six months at basic school learning infantry tactics before I'll head on over to flight school and become a pilot. What I do with my team away from the field, I guess they're my friends and do whatever you do with your friends is we we go out to eat, we go to movies, we hang out, we play IM sports, we do schoolwork. Uh, it's one of the nicer things is that my teammates are all in the hard majors, they're all in the hard classes, and we all work together on schoolwork if we need to. And it's, it's a very nice community that automatically come in college and have 100 friends. ROTC 
academics and football, the big three at Carnegie Mellon. Uh, I've been able to handle them very well. And it's one of the reasons I chose to come to Carnegie Mellon was the relationship between the football team and the ROTC office. It's very rare for two organizations to be so demanding but be able to share someone's time so well. So during the football season, I'm exempt from most of the ROTC physical activities. And then during the spring semester, I kind of share uh, my time for physical aspects. And so they know that, they both know that the academic schedule here is rigorous and that they have to be willing to let me have time to study and do my other activities in order for me to be a successful person. So because they're so willing to work with me, um, it's actually been fairly easy. Um, as long as I stay up on my schoolwork, then I don't really have any trouble managing my time. What I'd like to have known when I was in the school the first thing would be to look for somewhere where they work hard. I was a little bit tentative about hard work coming into college. I, it just wasn't really on my radar or something to look for. But now that I look back more and more, I realize that when you look for organizations that demand excellence and demand hard work, because those are the organizations you're going to be, want to be a part of in the end. They're going to be the successful ones, the ones you're going to get stuff out of. Even if you don't accomplish the goals you set out to, uh, it's still about the journey and the work and the development that you get out of it. And the organizations that are excellent and put in the time and effort, they're the ones that are going to, you're going to get something out of. So when you're looking for a school, uh, a football team, decide whether to do ROTC or not, um, that would be a huge factor that I would want to consider that wasn't really on my radar when I was 18. Carnegie opened a lot of doors and opportunities when I got here. I decided to be an RA and resident assistant my sophomore year continue to do that. Uh, so basically take charge of a floor of, I've been with upperclassmen, but freshman housing both, you can do either. I also participate in buggy here, which is a unique and interesting sport, uh, very competitive, but very different from traditional sports. And also my major, I didn't really understand all the mechanical engineering entailed when I got here, but going to class, seeing the professors, hearing them talk about what they do research in or where they work before they got here. It's really opened my eyes to all the possibilities and everything that you can do 